Hi, I'm Matt from Vibrelli, and this is an introduction to the Vibrelli Mini Bike Pump. This is a great pump for all types of riding, road, mountain bike, or just everyday use. It's a really strong pump, yet it's lightweight, weighing just over five ounces. It also has a clever valve system built into it, meaning it can attach to Presta or Schrader valves automatically. All you simply do is remove the dust cap, attach it to the valve, lock it into position, and start inflating. You don't have to take this pump apart to swap any adapters, it's quick and easy. It also comes with a telescope design, meaning the barrel can unlock and extend. This allows you to get more volume per stroke for faster inflation. And then when you want to get to higher pressure, you simply lock the barrel off and you can finish off with higher pressure inflation at the end. We also provide a mounting bracket which attaches to the bottle cage holes and it clips onto the pump to hold it nice and snug and then we have a velcro strap which holds it into place to stop rattling or it coming off. We also provide a sports ball needle adapter which screws in here so you can pump up all of your sports balls as well. As part of your purchase we also provide a handy glueless puncher repair kit. The patches don't require any glue, you simply peel, apply over the puncher, inflate and be back riding in no time. And it's really small and lightweight and can easily fit in your saddlebag. The pump also comes in a matte black or the silver for your preference. So this is an introduction to the Vibrelli Mini Bike Pump. Crank Brothers, and today we're going to talk about our gem pump. With the gem pump, we have a dual head feature which is reversible so it'll fit on both Presta and Schrader valves. We also have a nice little adapter on the bottom which allow you to change from high pressure to high volume setting to adapt to whether you're using it on a mountain bike or on a road bike. Now in order to change the gasket or the internal parts depending on your valve style, you're going to unscrew the cap and just give the lever a light pull until you see the bit exposed and where you can reach in and take out the gasket and the adapter. Once you have those pieces out, the orientation is quite simple. Fitting the two large pieces together, as you can see like this, we'd orientate it for the Presta valve. 
and slip in this way. If you reverse those the opposite, where you have the small head fit into the small bit, you've now set it up for the Schrader valve. And just install your cap back on and you're ready to go. For this particular case, since we have a Presta valve, we'll go ahead and get it ready for that. Again, we'll go big, big, insert it into the pump, tighten the cap. Now, first thing we want to do is open up the Presta valve and free it up. Make sure you're ready for pumping. Insert the pump nozzle over the valve. Lift the lever in order to lock it in place. And I suggest taking your hand and grabbing the spoke and holding the head of the pump in place so that when you're forcing air into the tire, you're not putting any stress onto the valve. Pump up to your, the desired pressure. Once you've reached your desired pressure, just relief the valve, remove the pump. Remember to tighten the valve back down. Welcome back to another episode here of Ask the Expert at Silka. I'm Travis, the e-commerce manager. Today we're going to be going over a how-to uh, of our Tatico mini pump. So um, really simple. We get a couple questions uh, here and there. We're going to go through tips and tricks and, and how to best use it. Okay, today we have a wheel here with a 32-millimeter uh, road tire on, um, and we're going to go through the uh, Tatico. So uh, first we're going to unthread the uh, valve cork get it ready to go. Um, I'm going to take this plastic cap off, or rubber cap off, and pull the hose out. We're set up here for Presta, uh, but if you unthread the chuck here, you can flip it around and go to Schrader. Uh, but for this video, we're going to just be doing Presta. One thing that we see um, some problems with from time to time is people putting this chuck too far onto the valve. Um, and what what happens there is you get some bleed, uh, air bleed when you remove the chuck. So um, we're going to put it on just far enough to get a seal right here, and then we're going to lock it. And then it's as easy as pumping your tire back up till you get to where you need to go, unlock, and pull it off. And then you're ready to ride again. One other thing we get some questions on from time to time is um, after you're out on a long, dirty ride, maybe your pump's not functioning as it was when it's new. Um, one thing that we can do to try to bring it back to its former glory um, is just give it a quick clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, expand it here, and you'll see there's a little nut that you can loosen. And we're going to take this piston rod out. And it's a pretty simple process here. We're just going to clean it, um, add a little bit of lubricant, um, and then we'll be good to go. So um, we're going to take our microfiber towel and just give the piston um, a good cleaning. Um, and then we're going to try to get any grit or dirt that we can see out of here. This one's pretty clean, so we'll, we'll leave that. But um, now, we, now that it's nice and clean again, we're going to add a little bit of our um, NFS pump blood. Uh, to the washer here 